Okay, hi guys, welcome to another video from runhorse.com and today we're going to talk about horse racing terminology and you can start by going to runhorse.com and I'm going to go down here and click on horse racing terminology dictionary and it's going to take us to this fine page here and uh, what we're going to talk about today is uh, to learn the terms of horse racing and uh, so you can sound like a pro at the track and, and learn what they're talking about because um, Horse racing has its own language, as do many other sports, and uh, people in the know, or those who work the backstretch or gamble on horse races, may speak a foreign language to you. Here you can learn many of the terms that make horse racing the sport of kings. Okay, so let's get into this. Uh, first of all, we have action. And action is a horse's manner of moving. A horse may be said to have a smooth action, so it's the way the horse moves. Added money. Uh, that's money added usually by the racing association to nomination and entry fees. Uh, ADW. This stands for Advanced Deposit Wagering, and this refers mostly to online wagering hubs and websites uh, such as Twin Spires or TVG. That's going to be Advanced Deposit Wagering Hub. Okay, an agent. An agent is a person who handles a jockey's riding assignments, also known as a jockey agent, and uh, they can be colorful characters with lots of spunk and personality. Generally, the top jockeys have the top agents. Makes sense, right? An all bet means that you're using every horse in the race in some form of combination, such as four all all in the trifecta, meaning if number four wins, you have every horse for second. So an all bet means using every horse in the race. Could be in a pick three where you're using in the middle leg, you're using uh, all the horses in that race, so you have every horse covered. All-Weather Racing, or AWT, and most race courses outside of America would consider dirt racing to be all-weather racing. A dirt or similar surface such as tapeta or other synthetic is commonly known as all-weather track. So it's basically a, a dirt course or a synthetic course. It can be used for all-around weather and, and harsh conditions, not turf. Allowance races, a non-claiming race for which weight assignments or allowances are determined according to published conditions. That's an allowance race. Also eligible, or AE, you'll see in the program. In an overflow field, the horse, these horses can draw into the race if there's a scratch. So they're basically eligible to draw into the race if there's a scratch. And a scratch means a horse is not going to run. Uh, we, you'll probably see this term later. Also ran. A horse that doesn't finish in the top trio would be an also ran in this race. Apprentice. A apprentice jockey is a jockey who's been riding for less than a year or who has not won at least 45 races. Horses that are ridden by apprentice jockeys are allowed to carry 5 pounds less, sometimes more. If they're a real novice, the first amount, first few races they win, they can even go even more than 5 pounds. So. Uh, they do have a slight advantage and, uh, you know, it makes sense because they don't have that uh, experience that a journeyman rider has. And a journeyman rider is someone that's been riding for a while. Apron. This is the area between the grandstand and the track. At the post, you may have heard this term. A term meaning that all horses are secure in the starting gate and ready for the race to begin. You hear the announcer say they're at the post and post time equals race time. Baby. A baby is a two-year-old because horses do not race until they are two years old, especially early in the year, and they are also referred to as juveniles. That's why they have juvenile races, or in the case there is in the Breeders' Cup, for instance, there is a juvenile championship. Baby race. A race for two-year-olds, usually at short distances in the spring and summer, also called juvenile race. Backside. This is the stable area where the stables are located and the horsemen uh, are, uh, that's where they live, basically. Backstretch. The straightaway opposite the home stretch. This is usually from the three-quarter mile pole to the three-eighths pole. Okay, bad actor. This is a horse that repeatedly misbehaves and proves troublesome. We all know these types and that's a bad actor. Bandages. In a race, bandages are sometimes used for support or protection. Normally they put them on the front of the horse, the front legs. Sometimes all four legs can be bandaged. Bar shoe. A bar shoe is a protective horseshoe that has a bar enclosing it to help support the heel of the hoof. A bay. A bay is a horse color, varying from tan to bright auburn, 
with the mane and tail being black. Bear in or bear out. This is to deviate from a straight course. You may have heard uh, the track announcer say the horse is bearing in or bearing out. By your number or speed figure. Uh, this is a quantitative measure of performance that appears in the daily racing forum and it's so called because the numbers were refined and popularized by Andy Beyer who wrote a book on horse racing that became very famous and it is supposed to measure how fast a horse really ran as opposed to just final times. Unfortunately, it, in my opinion, is not too effective, but it is a factor to take a look at. And a number over 100 would be a high buyer figure. Big Red, nickname applied to two famous chestnuts, Man of War and Secretariat. He's the most famous known, Big Red. Bill Daly, the lead, so named for a famous trainer who used to instruct jockeys to go to the lead at the start and improve their position. So a Bill Daly run is a horse that likes to run on the front end. Bit. The bit is a stainless steel, rubber, or aluminum bar attached to the bridle and it fits in the horse's mouth and this allows the jockey to control the horse and guide it during the race. Black. This is the color of some horses. Black type. A black type is a bold face type used in sales catalogs to identify horses that have won or placed in stakes races. So when you hear someone say this horse is a black type, that means he's a stakes placed horse or winner. Blanket finish. A horse is finishing so closely in a race that they could be covered by a blanket. You might hear the announcer say throw a blanket over them. Bleeder. A bleeder is a horse that suffers exercise-induced pulmonary hemorrhaging, which means that they actually can bleed through the trachea and uh, things like that when they're running, and uh, it can cause blockage, obviously. Uh, uh, you know, prevents them from running at full peak, um, blocks the airway. Such horses might slow abruptly when their breathing is inhibited. The condition can sometimes be controlled. The effects mollified with the diuretic Lasix or Salix, and that's usually why the horse is given that medication. Uh, blew the turn. This means the horse did not corner properly going into the turn, ran wide, and most likely had a disastrous finish. Uh, you will see these horses sometimes bear out uh, wide on the turn, and that's when they, they say they blow the turn, and uh, you'll see this sometimes, especially with young horses that they, they are not used to that turn when they get to it and they just continue to run straight and they don't corner. Uh, blinkers, a hood of fabric with cups sewn into the eye openings and this is a common piece of equipment worn by horses. The hood is fitted to the horse's head. The cups force the horses to look straight ahead, removing any visual distractions during the race. Bloodline, a horse's pedigree, basically his or her lineage. This information is kept for many generations to prove a racehorse's bloodlines are pure. And it's uh, very, very important with thoroughbreds that they have a pure bloodline because they cannot race without it. So they have to have a lineage that is established and that is actually there and has to be uh, on paper and all that register with the jockey club for them to run as a thoroughbred racehorse. Blowout, a short, brisk workout. Blue hen mare, this is an interesting term. A mare which is a prolific producer of quality offspring. In addition, her sons and her daughters also have a significant impact on the breed. So that's what a blue hen mare is. Bobbled, a uh, horse took a bad step. Oftentimes at the start of the race, you'll hear the announcer say he bobbled out of the gate. Um, Body parts of the horse. We have a section on that on our website again at runhorse.com if you want to learn more about the appendages and the body parts of the horse, such as hoof, fetlock, mane, muzzle, etc. You can check out that section. Boil over reference to a long shot winner and unexpected outcome of a race. It also refers to a heavy favorite losing. That's a boil over. Bolt, to veer suddenly out of control, the horse bolted. Bolted in, one with complete authority. Bomber, a bomber is a reference to a long shot winner, a winner at high odds. This horse was a bomber. Book, uh, number one can mean two things. The group of mares bred to a stallion in a particular year is the book. 
A two is a jockey's commitments as handled by his agent. That's the that's the jockey's book or uh, the trainer's book. Bounce an unusually poor performance following an unusually good one. This means the horse had a really good race and then inexplicably threw in a clunker. They would call this a bounce or you will hear them say the horse bounced. Bowed tendon. Okay, this is a severe strain of the superficial flexor tendon between the knee and ankle. So named because of the bowed appearance resulting from swelling. So that's what it means and if your horse has that it can be a problem and some horses are susceptible to this. Box seat, a to sit right behind the front runners in a perfect position. So if the horse has the box seat, you may hear the announcer saying he's sitting in the box seat. He is in perfect position and ready to strike. So he will not have any excuses, he or she in the race. Boxed or boxed in. This means you are surrounded by horses with nowhere to go. It's not a good position and not a good feeling if a jockey is boxed in. He will also lack running room during the race. Some horses will not, uh, they do not like to be boxed in and therefore will perform poorly and the, the jockey will have a, uh, a quite a time extricating himself from this to try to win the race normally. Break. The break is the start of a horse race. Breakage. The breakage is the money the track retains after the payoffs are rounded off to a nickel dime on the dollar an extra little fee for the track. So in other words, the track should pay uh, instead of $2.10 for instance or something like that should pay $2.12 but the track gets to keep those extra little pennies and that's the breakage. That's the way it works. If you own a racetrack you can make those little extra pennies and nickels which do add up quite a bit in the end. Breakdown. A horse that suffers a serious injury is said to break down, and that's very sad. Break maiden. To break the maiden is winning for the first time. A horse that is a maiden has never won a race. So when the horse is no longer a maiden, it's broken its maiden. Breeder. A breeder is the owner of a pregnant mare at the time she delivers the full baby horse of either sex and the uh, breeders are people that breed horses. Breeders Cup. This is a multi-race event held at the end of the year in the United States to determine the champion horses by divisions. The finale is the featured Breeders Cup Classic which often determines the horse of the year. Millions of dollars are up for grabs in these Breeders Cup races, not to mention championships normally. A lot of the horses that win these races will go on to be champions in their division. Breeze. A breeze is a workout at moderate speed. Bridge Jumper. This is a funny one. Someone who wages a large sum of money, it's usually to show on a short priced favorite so-called because of the immediate impulse that follows the loss of such a wager. So if you do bet a lot of money, $100,000, a million dollars to show on a horse that seems like it's unbeatable and that day does not run well, you may feel like jumping off a bridge. Broke down, suffered an injury during the race, usually a break or something similar. Broke in the air, Coming out of the starting gate with the horse's front legs up high and off balance, lunged up high at the break, that means broke in the air, broke poorly, uh, was away slowly from the starting gate, did not break with the field, that's a poor break. Buck shins, this is an inflammation to the area covering the front of the cannon bone, common among young horses in training, this is a problem for young horses, buck shins. Buck, a bug boy. A bug boy is an apprentice jockey. A new jockey with little experience riding in races. They call them a bug boy. Bullet workout. The fastest workout of the morning at a particular distance is a bullet. Bull ring. A bull ring is a small racetrack with tight turns. Makes sense. Kind of like a bull ring. Butte. Butte is short for phenyl butazone, an, an anti-inflammatory medication. Think of aspirin for horses. Buzzer. A buzzer is an illegal device. It's a handheld device similar to a cattle prod that can be hidden inside a jockey's whip or equipment. It's basically a way for the jockey to try and cheat by jolting his mount. 
This may have been more common in the past. Hopefully, it's not being used anymore. Uh, it would be a severe penalty to be caught with a buzzer. Cocks or mud cocks. Uh, these are cleat light projections on the rear shoes, often used to prevent slipping on a muddy surface, also called stickers. Think of cleats for horses, and it will sometimes help the horse on a muddy surface. Chalk. Uh, chalk is the betting favorite. It's a slang term. It's often used. Are you betting on the chalk, or can we beat the chalk? Is the chalk beatable? Check. Check is to slow a horse momentarily to avoid traffic or collision. It's usually uh, not a good thing to have your horse checked in the race because he will lose his forward momentum. Chefs de race are uh, prepotent sires that have been especially influential. The chefs are classified as brilliant, intermediate, classic, solid, and professional according to whether their influence is predominantly speed or stamina. These, this is something that is used by people that study pedigrees, which is kind of interesting, and it's a field in its own, and it can be very important to breeders. Chestnut. A chestnut is two things. And number one, it's a horse color that can vary from red, yellow, to deep red, a very pretty color. Number two, it is one of the light-colored, irregular growths on the inside of a horse's leg, also called night eyes. So that would be a bad, uh, bad thing. Shoot. The shoot is the extension of the back stretch or home stretch where 7 furlong or 10 furlong races often begin at most tracks, also used in quarter horse racing. And the shoot is in basically an extension to that racing surface and they, they put that little extension out there and that's where the race begins and then it goes on to the main track. Circuit. A circuit is a geographical grouping of tracks whose race meetings are coordinated to run in succession. The circuit, for instance, in New York would be uh, Belmont, uh, Aqueduct, Saratoga, they just keep continuing from one track to the other within that Naira Association, so that's a racing circuit. Claim box, the box in which claim certificates are deposited. Class, the class is the quality of competition that the horse competes in. A horse that is said to be the class or classy will be the one that has raced against the best competition previously. A graded stakes winner fits the bill as a classy individual. Back class. Back class means that the horse has prior experience against quality runners and therefore should be respected. Classic. Used to refer to a few traditionally significant races such as the Kentucky Derby. In America, the classic distance is a mile and a quarter. In Europe, it's one and a half miles. Clerk of Scales is the official who oversees the riders weighing out of the jockey's room for a race and afterwards they're weighing in to assure the horses carry the proper weight. And this is important because the horse, the jockey, is has to carry a set amount of weight and they will actually put weights in the saddle, small weights, and after the race it has to be weighed in actually. Before the race they're weighed out and this is to make the race official shows that he actually carried the right amount that he did not remove any of the weights from the uh, from the saddle during the race to give him an improper advantage climbing climbing most often happens with young or inexperienced racehorses and during a race the horse held its head high and legs high as well compromising its stride you may have seen this and this is something that is a problem Normally caused by dirt kicked into its face by other runners, young horses, especially horses that are inexperienced, do not like this. They'll start to hold their head high and they'll kick up their legs uh, trying to say, I don't like this and I'm not comfortable. Most horses will adjust to this rapidly and in future races will no longer be affected. So this is something to keep an eye out for. If a horse climbed in a race, uh, sometimes they can get it under control in the next one and the horse may perform better. Clocker. A person who times workouts and races is a clocker, and there are professional clockers in this game. Closer. A horse that does its best running in the closing stages of a race is a closer. Clubhouse turn. The turn after the finish line is the clubhouse turn. Closest to the clubhouse. Colic. This is an abdominal pain often caused by a twist or obstruction in the intestine. The leading cause of death in horses, unfortunately, is colic. Colors. Colors are the racing silks, the beautiful colors that the jockeys wear, and they denote the owners. 
because the owner has its own racing suit and that's why they uh, all look differently because each owner registers those colors and when that owner is running a horse, the jockey wears those colors. Hopefully he wins the race and gets a nice photo in the winner circle with those pretty silks. Colt. A colt is an ungelded male horse. Four years old or younger. That means he has all his equipment, ladies and gentlemen. He has not been gelded. Conduction Condition book. The book that sets forth the possible races with their conditions for which horses can be entered are the condition book. It's important to trainers to enter the horses under the right conditions in the right races so they will perform the best, have the best chance of winning. Confirmation is a horse's physical makeup. You often hear people say, especially horsemen, the horse has a nice confirmation, especially at sales. It's talked about a lot. can often be important. Sometimes horses with abnormal confirmation can be quite good runners, so it's not 100% guarantee though the horse will look very handsome being having nice confirmation consolation double a daily double payoff for the winner of the first race with a late scratch in the second or vice versa uh, if the horse is scratched uh, if you won the first leg of a double bet and the next leg is a scratch there will be a consolation paid so you will get some money back Coupled. Uh, two horses are coupled when they run as an entry or single betting interest, such as 1-1-A, one, 2-2-B. One uh, two, two that means if you bet the entry, you receive all the horses running under that number. So it will be multiple horses. Can sometimes be up to 3-4. Generally, it's 2. Course. A specific section of a track used for racing is a course. Most race courses have more than one course proper. For example, a dirt course and a turf course. Santa Anita. For example, has a unique downhill turf course, which is quite interesting. Belmont Park has an inner and outer turf known as the Widener Turf Course. So tracks have more than one course generally, and most of your larger, of course, all your larger tracks have multiple courses. Some horses will prefer, prefer each course, so it's something to take a look at, especially in the running lines. Cool out is to return to normal body temperature after a workout or race. The horse has to be cooled out. A cribber. A cribber is a horse that habitually grips objects with its teeth and sucks air into its stomach. And that's not really the greatest thing for trainers. Crop. A crop can be two things. Uh, number one, a group of horses born in the same year. You will you will hear talked about uh, the crop for this year was uh, excellent. The three-year-old crop was exceptionally strong, or it was a weak crop that year, borne out by results at the end of the year, uh, or when they raced against older horses the next year. Uh, number two, the number of foals by a particular stallion in a given year would be his crop. Okay, cuppy. Cuppy is a track condition characterized by a loose surface. Also an overuse excuse by many trainers of why their horse ran poorly. They will say the track was cuppy or he did not handle the track. It's a common theme you will hear if the horse ran poorly. Cushion is the top layer of the racing surface. The daily racing form is a daily publication that includes past performances and charts. Uh, dam is the female parent. Dark day is a day of no racing. Dark horse. A dark horse is a term used to reference a horse that may have had a chance to win the race, yet is flying slightly under the radar of most prognosticators. Dead heat. A dead heat is a tie. can be a two-way tie, three-way tie, uh, rarely more than that. The horses can actually tie. If they, they go by where the nose hits the wire and if they both hit, if both the noses are on the line at the same time, it would be a dead heat. Dead money. A dead money is a horse that looks hopeless with no chance of winning the race. It's said to be dead money. Degenerate horse player gambler, a better that can't stop no matter what, a born loser, not a good place to be, an addicted gambler. Derby, a significant stakes race for three-year-olds may be called such as in the Lone Star Derby, Kentucky Derby, etc. Disqualification, a change in the order of finish by the stewards ruling and often following an objection or inquiry because of a rules infraction. 
In this game, horses can be disqualified, and if they are disqualified, they lose the purse money, and unfortunately, the betters also lose uh, because the horse is removed from the placings or denoted to a lower placing. Distaff. Uh, Distaff is a female uh, race for females, and it could be like the Breeders' Cup. Distaff is for fillies and mares, so distaff races are for female horses. Distanced. Distance means that it was the horse was so badly beaten as it just lost contact with the field. Uh, sometimes the horse could be eased up. Uh, the jockey does not want to persevere, so the horse was distanced or could have had a problem in the race. Dogs. Dogs are cones or wooden barriers used to prevent horses from working or galloping close to the inner rail, usually used following heavy rains. So it's a way to uh, keep the course in better condition for race days. Dosage system. This is a pedigree analysis based on the presence of chefs de race in the first four generations, popularized in recent years by Stephen Roman. And you will hear sometimes uh, talking about dosage, especially around the Triple Crown races, Kentucky Derby, Belmont. They will talk about the horse's dosage. And this is supposed to talk about if he likes a long distance, will he get the distance or not, he or she. A dosage index is the a part of the dosage system, the racage of speed to stamina in a horse's pedigree. And a low number suggests an inclination towards stamina. A dosage inject index of 4, 4.0 or less suggests a horse can likely perform at the classic distance. And this is according to Roman's analysis. You could look for more about this on the internet if you're interested in it. It is interesting and oftentimes can be right. Uh, DNF stands for did not finish the race, pulled up, eased, or broke down. So did not finish the race for whatever reason, and uh, that's a DNF. Drop. A drop means it can be a class drop, a dropping in class here. It's not something dropped. <laughs> Basically, the horse is moving from a higher class to a lower class. So he or she was racing against better quality horses now to a lower class. So in essence, should have a better chance today than before because the competition will be easier. Dropped uh, means fold. The mare dropped the, uh, the, the baby horse. Uh, Okay, the dwelt. A dwelt is remained in the starting gate long after the jockey, starter, and prudence suggested leaving. That means dwelt. We'll take a look at a few other terms here, and I'm going to go ahead and finish up this video. Early foot means speed, especially away from the starting gate. That means early foot. Eased. Uh, eased is having surrendered. The horse is slow during a race. Eclipse awards. Eclipse awards are named for the great undefeated Champion of the 18th century and determined by a vote of the National Turf Riders Association, the Daily Racing Forum, and the Thoroughbred Racing Associations. And these are the sport's highest honors. Uh, they are given in various divisions and represent championships. So Eclipse Awards denote champions. So those are given at the end of the year for many different, uh, for trainers, jockeys, and uh, the like. Also horses win Eclipse Awards, and that is the highest honor in our sport. Eighth pole is a the marker or pole indicating an eighth of a mile to the wire. It's very important. The jockeys will take a look at that. They will see that, and they'll know that there's an eighth of a mile left in the race, and that's where they start to get busy or they start to think that it's time to make a move because the wire is closing. Poles are set every sixteenth of a mile around the track, and the eighth pole is a very important pole. And uh, right now we're going to go ahead and end this tutorial. If you want to see the rest of the terminology, we have a couple more pages here. I recommend you go to runhorse.com and you can go ahead and look up all these great terminology and learn about horse racing and sound like an expert at the track and if you do hear something one day you're at the track and you're not sure what it means you can refer back to this and we also have a searchable directory here where you can go ahead and search for that so go to runhorse.com and thank you for watching this video and I hope you learned something about uh, horse racing terminology and you'll soon be an expert believe me uh, go to our dictionary and practice and, and learn and, uh, 
have a good time and that's what it's about and run horse run thanks for watching and don't forget to like this video and subscribe thank you so much have a great day